Okay, I'd like to introduce the uh, heavy duty battery load tester and the procedure for actually checking and inspecting the amount of available voltage and current from the batteries. Um, this piece of equipment is very similar to an AVR, which is an amps, volts, and resistance checker, uh, but this particular unit only checks internal battery voltage external battery voltage which is the typical service charge of the battery and the available cold cranking amp rating uh, for the battery. A couple things uh, I'd like to introduce is one is the external leads. These external leads are used for connecting to the power sources to determine if the available voltage is there. You can do a parasitic battery voltage check and I will explain that in further detail as we move through the demonstration. The next uh, piece of equipment here, part of this, is the inductive amp clamp. There is a direction based on current flow, whether it is conventional current flow theory or whether it is electron current flow theory. This gets clamped around the positive connection or the negative connection directly at the alternator, directly at the starter motor, or directly at the battery. All systems should be rechecked to ensure that the applicable voltage is in the areas that is necessary for a functioning cranking system or charging system. The next leads, which are the large leads, are the ones that are connected directly to the battery and through the position on the volt select on the piece of test equipment we can select external battery voltage or internal battery voltage. So these ones here are used for checking the internal battery voltage. These get correct, uh, clamped directly onto the battery connections positive and negative and then the leads that are connected here are in series with the amp meter on the inside of this piece of test equipment. Here we have two batteries. Um, these are called a secondary cell battery which allows a chemical reaction inside the battery to recoup the lost voltage from operation. One of the important aspects about doing a proper output check on the charging system or the cranking circuit is ensuring that we have applicable battery voltage for testing. A couple things I want to note here is one, the condition of this battery. If you look here now at the, the surface condition of the battery, number one, where you can see that there's a lot of corrosion on the top of the battery. There's a lot of dirt. This has been packed away inside one of the battery boxes on a functioning unit. Um, the important part here is knowing the exact size and available, not the voltage, but the available cranking amperage that the battery does hold. This particular battery, it may be hard to read, but this particular battery says that it has a 650 cold cranking amp rating. That is based on an applicable ambient temperature or outside temperature, usually somewhere around the freezing point, so that we have available voltage at that temp specified temperature. The other thing I want you to note here on this battery is that it has a reserve capacity of 85 amps. That allows that battery to recoup and hold some available voltage so in a real cold snap if the battery voltage has dropped down dramatically and the applicable amperage has dropped down dramatically you still may have enough to get that last crank in to be able to fire that unit up to, and then hopefully the charging system will recoup until you can have some service work done. Taking a look at this next battery here very similar in design it does have top posts it does have side posts very similar to the Mopar battery, this uh, UAP battery. The other thing on this UAP battery is it gives us two specified ratings. One, a CCA rating, which is cold cranking amp rated rating, and that gives us that applicable voltage at that specified ambient temperature, usually zero. The other one, the CA, is the cranking amperage rating. It states that this battery has an applicable 1,020 amps available for cranking at ambient temperature somewhere around 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Now there is um, a chart and formula that is used for determining the available voltage and cranking amperage based on outside ambient temperatures whether it's cold or whether it is hot.